What up tube? I am here to show you the soundbar I ordered and how to install, hopefully, the Boss Audio Systems BRT26 RGB soundbar. And it is not very user friendly as far as the manual goes. So we're going to try to figure this out and see if we can get it over here on my golf cart. I'm going to switch the camera around real Okay, as you can see, there's a sound bar, and here's all the parts. Um, I got one mount. I kind of figured out how it goes, but I'm going to show you the actual uh, thing here. So there's the sound bar. It was rated a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet. The guys online, I listened to it. It sounded fine. Pretty much in my golf cart, it just needs to be loud, to be honest with you. Okay, so here's the problem. There's some good things and some bad things. The good thing is it comes with a cigarette lighter. So this cigarette lighter here that powers it, you can plug in here and then hardwire to uh, see your battery right there. You see that? So that's good. Now, the problem is here's the owner's manual. It doesn't give you the exact uh, quantity of stuff that you should have, right? You know how most of them will give you like you should have this many volts, this many nuts, this is this, and this is that. So here's all it comes with. It shows you this and four of those, which that is wrong. I mean, I think they're extra, and it just shows you, you know, your plug-in, like I just showed you, your remote and owner's manual. Now, if you skip all the way through this uh, manual, there's one page, and I mean one page. It's the very, very, very last page for installation, okay? Page 14, sorry. Pages are wet here. Okay, so uh, page 12. There's your installation. Use the supplied adjustable bracket to secure rails. Always recheck bracket before you ride. Okay, cool. Then it just comes here. Gives you troubleshooting. It gives you a picture diagram. It gives you a wiring diagram of what to do with your wiring. Problem is, it doesn't give you anything with bolts. So let me show you something here, guys. All right, so I have four of these here, okay? Got one up there. What happens is they gave you four of these here. See, there's a there's a nut inside that one I already put. So it gives you four nuts and four brackets. I've got one right in there, and that's what helps this thing slide on. Problem is you only need two, okay? Then it gives you two of these brackets right here. And as you can see, one is smaller than the other. That's because this mounts there. Uh, let me show you actually. The back of this mounts on to there. And then that's how it slides down the railing here. So this is, goes on the bottom. And then the bigger one here goes over the top. And as you can see, as I slide this on here, it goes over to do compression to your uh, pull for your uh, or your roll cage or whatever. Now that's fine and dandy. That was easy to figure out. It gives you four of these long bolts, which I've tried to figure out here. As you can see, that's not going to give me much space to tighten this thing down. Honestly, it gives you four regular washers. And four lock washers, which uh, my wife was just out here. Sorry, there it is. She put a lock washer on here. And so it gives you four lock washers. Like I said, I've already got one on here. So there's a washer and lock washer. And I'm just assuming that's where it goes because it doesn't tell you. It gives you these pads here that you would assume would have some kind of sticky adhesive on it. Because down in there... Is where these go as you see it's just sitting in there and the problem is there's nothing to keep it from moving out so unfortunately I've got all these parts oh the cool thing comes with a key ring for your remote it's like put that on there but other than that it gives you no instructions on how to do this so I'm gonna try to put this together and have you guys check it out and we'll see what happens and how we can do this. I'll try to help you out as we go. Okay, as you can see, I've already got one on. 
We're gonna put the other one together here real quick. I'll slide it on. And then we need to go over to the golf cart and see how it fits on there. As far as the bracket goes. But I'm really afraid with the length of these, how far it has to go down. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna give her a shot here. Tighten those up. And uh, we'll see what happens here in a second. I will say one weird thing. This is the first time I've ever gotten a product that did not come with any Allen wrench. It's really weird. So, yeah, it's kind of odd. Alright, that was pretty, pretty easy. Like I said with these, there's no... There's no stick to them. There's nothing to peel off. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and dab some glue in them or what yet. I haven't figured it out, but I'm not real worried about it as far as the scratch and the bar because it's underneath the, um, the uh, roof. But I am kind of worried about the if it slips or not, so we'll see. Oh, so yeah, you take the Take the smaller of the two here, and uh, I'll show you one that was an extra. You can see it's got a it's got a hex bolt in there uh, for it. So you take those are extra. That's all I'm gonna think of because there's no reason I need them. You take that. You take this real small Allen screw. You put it down in here. And just get it started because it's kind of a tight fit. And the uh, reason you put it in there is because see how it goes I'm flush there. It doesn't pop out so it'll go easy to the uh, bar there. And then it's kind of a tight fit so you got to go really loose. I went a lot looser that time and that helps. And I'm just putting on this wide because I don't have any bars in between that are going to stop me uh, from how wide I want to do it so I'm not really worried about it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tighten this back up here okay now here's the tricky part like I said we've got all these bolts here to go into here but they've got to go around the bar of the golf cart in order for me to secure them in the here I might end up having to take the roof off the golf cart which I did not want to do so stay tuned all right, guys, I'm ready to show you what I've done. I did have to pop the front of the roof open. By the way, if you're wondering what my golf cart is, it's a Cazador 200cc, uh, the electric blue. Uh, it came like this, uh, the rims, everything like that, roof fully loaded, and uh, I paid, it was 47 something brand new, and I ended up paying after tax and shipping, I think 53. So if, uh, if you guys were wondering what my golf cart was, I just wanted to show you what the golf cart was. All right, so anyway, what I had to do is I had to pop the roof. Luckily, it was easy. It was just these two brackets here, as you can see right there. So that was pretty dumb. So anyway, the roof is popped open right here. And then what you got to do is, hold on, guys. What you got to do is you got to take the bigger bracket of the two, the one that's not mounted, and you got to slide it over there like that. So let's see here. You got to slide it in just like this to where it sits and slides. And then, uh, and then you come over to this side, bring it up through here, sit it in to where it slides. And then you got both of them in there right now. And then there's the sound bar. And I've got to clamp those two there and then mount them in and hope that these, what I was talking to you earlier, hope that these long 
bolts don't go uh huh. see how far well i guess i'm coming that way so it's not gonna matter i'm just gonna have to lift the roof to mount it so uh yeah sorry it's not focused so i'm hoping these i was hoping those long bolts would be too bad but they're coming at me so let's see if i can focus on that there there we go so they're coming at me so it won't be as bad but i will have to lift this and mount it and then turn it it's going to kind of face down at me as you can see as opposed to uh flush straight out because of the way the roof is which is fine with me because it's still up out of my way and it's going to face down at me uh i'll show you the finished product here in a minute i'm going to try to get uh, my wife to help me uh, hold this while i hang it and then i'll show you the finished product there and then at the end i'll show you how it sounds all right guys i'm a redneck so i had to use a little redneck ingenuity had no help so i took a box and uh, propped up my hood there or my uh, roof sorry and then i had to hang this this bar and here like this now the bar is actually going to face this way hey here's the only problem i can i don't think i can show you with one hand but these do not clamp tight enough around this bar okay so see that that's as far as they go so i am going i had to figure out a way to put something in there to get those clamped tight stay tuned for the next adventure in mounting this okay as you can see that's hanging down and it is not clamped and that's fully tightened you may be asking why am i hanging it the way i am because this is how what it would look like hanging down from my viewpoint it would be my way that's how low it hangs see i'm trying to get the steering wheel in there so uh, i want it uh, up here so i got more room to view while i'm driving that is why i'm not hanging it on this bracket here which would make it hang down like that so now i have to figure out either if i attach the hood if that's going to be enough the hood i keep saying hood the roof if that's going to be enough to keep it tilted or not that's the first thing I'm gonna do. If that doesn't work, we'll figure something else out. As you can see, tightening the roof did not help. It is still, even though it is exactly like it's supposed to be, there's still gaps in there. It's hanging and where I need it to be. <clears throat> is right there. So I gotta figure out a way to get that to be right there instead of there so i got an idea we'll see if it works all right so remember these extra parts i was talking about the ones that slide in and i had these other bolts well they're gonna come in handy that's what i've done is i totaled that up and you see the one right here i drilled a hole in my roof there and a home roof there i'm gonna put them up through there and then i'm gonna bolt them right there let's see how that ends up working i think it's gonna work all right so we'll see all right ladies and germs it is mounted now as you can see back up here it's out of my eyesight it's up in the roof it is mounted very secure that thing is not going anywhere and all i did was came up through and bolted it there and bolted there i drilled it through there it's not like i'm gonna be driving in the rain and there's what it looks like from the front so nothing in my sight and now on the wiring all right ladies and gentlemen it works i have not i'm not going to play it right yet but i did a smart thing and test it before it works what i did was like i showed you i bolted up there i ran my wire I haven't hooked my wires up yet except for the spare wires that come with it I have RCAs, a USB, and a uh, mini for audio, but I'm using Bluetooth. Uh, so I run, as you can see, the power line's running down. I ran the power line down through into here, uh, right in through here. 
and then we brought it up through the motor here and what's nice is like i said they give you a cigarette lighter adapter to plug it into so you plug your cigarette lighter adapter in there i taped it and then wired up the hot neutral i'm going to get the wiring all cleaned up with some zip ties put the hood back on and then we'll test out the uh, system and uh anyway that's the way you hook it up for the casador 200 uh it's a little different it took some uh doing but we got her done and we're going to go ahead and get that cleaned up and then i'll show you how it sounds it's really loud by the way all right right there we've got the speaker and as you can see it's on uh i can't play music from my phone and jam at the same time but it is extremely loud uh it's got the remote right there i'm gonna put on the keychain it's got eq settings you have to find the one you like best it is very 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 loud not like real bassy because it's small but uh as you can see fits up in there really well wire tied everything down this uh pull here so from the front you really can't tell too much but uh it is extremely loud and i want to say thanks for joining me on this it's been an extremely difficult install uh just because of parts and stuff like that but got it done i'm really really happy with it and hopefully this helps you guys out on yours as well or hopefully it fits your uh, golf cart so thanks for watching don't forget to tune into my next video and like and subscribe see you later